Thank you. While the Maricopa County recorder race has not been called with hundreds of thousands of ballots still needing to be counted, the Democratic candidate Tim Stringham has already conceded the race to his Republican opponent, Justin Heap. Which is unusual, right? Mm -hmm. If the race hasn't been called yet. So 12 News journalist Chase Golightly just spoke with Heap about this. And what do you have to say, Chase? Well, Troy Tram, I'll tell you, he was not surprised with the announcement from Stringham that he conceded this race. He told me about an hour ago that after that initial drop happened just after 8 o'clock last night that they had a brief conversation and he was expecting that announcement today. Now, I do want to be clear with that concession that does not make keep the recorder elect. As we mentioned, there are still a lot of ballots that need to be counted and there is still that possibility that it could turn the other way that Stringham could win this race. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see. But again, when I spoke with Heap earlier today, he said that he is feeling confident heading in today and is excited to see how the rest of those ballot drops happen here. But no matter who wins this race, the new recorder will have fewer responsibilities than the current recorder. That's because just a few weeks ago, the County Board of Supervisors and recorder Stephen Richer came to an agreement to shift certain administrative responsibilities from the recorder to the board. A decision we asked Heap for his thoughts on. I'm not going to speak for what what the board's reasons for doing it was. Um, we're going to they. I, I think that ultimately the decision that the lame duck board made is is probably short sighted. Um, I look forward to going forward. I think once this election is over, I'll be meeting individually with each of the new board members, and we'll work out an agreement that works best for everybody. Heap says if elected, he wants to focus on election transparency and speeding up the result process. While he hev heavily criticized the 2022 election, he believes what unfolded yesterday was a free and secure process, but said there's still room for improvement. We're live in Phoenix. Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right.